Hello, this is Johnny. I uh, just want to do a quick video and let you know if you are looking at the ET Prime, this is a centipede. This is the model that you need to get when you go to Amazon and you're searching for a video card for this monitor. The centipede and the, the asteroid that is selling for $75. Okay. Uh, same model M170 ET N as in Nancy 011 from here from here to here it's going to be uh, I believe 10 point 10.5 okay 10.5 and from here to here is 13.2 okay if you measure diagonally it's going to be 17 Okay, so at the bottom is 10 point, 10 point, uh, 5, and the top is, is 13.2, okay? So if you come over here to the centipede, because I really don't uh, crazy about the asteroid design, I, I like the centipede uh, artwork, so I might just keep that one. And this one, I probably will uh, replace it uh, with Raspberry Pi. Now, if you measure from the bottom here, it's opposite. This is 13 point, uh, 13 point two. And from here to here is uh, 10.5. If you measure diagonally, it's 17 inches screen. It's the same screen, it just, one is, one is this way, and the centipede is this way. Okay, if that makes sense. Well, see, if you notice here is wider, small because they flip the screen sideways now if you prefer to flip the screen the other way the problem is uh, this artwork this glass that they put over here is gonna block your screen so you cannot you cannot turn turn this to the same direction as the other one even though physically you could but if you do that uh, this screen will not work sideways because the way uh, the artwork is covering it and thus you could get another piece of uh, uh, plastic and I don't know they sell just the just the plastic or you could have a special cut and then drill a hole uh, and then screw this onto uh, this piece of uh, monitor on the wood because right now this glass is not made to go vertically is horizontal so the game that you play horizontal is going to be pretty cool but the one you play vertically is going to be a little bit smaller the screen size it's only going to be 10 and a half inches screen instead of the so be 10 and a half instead of full 13 inches long I mean it's going to be 13 inches long but 10 and a half inches wide so the game is not going to be as wide as you hope it will be so the best bet is make uh, this the asteroid to a raspberry pi instead of the centipede but if you bought the centipede then you really don't have a choice you could just use a centipede to do it it's just that uh, once I figured out what's the command I used to remember I wrote it down but once I start doing this I'll give you the command so that when you when you plug it in your game will not go uh, on the centipede, uh, it won't go like upside uh, sideways. And there's a command you put in there, you will turn it back to the to the it make the screen longer, but it will turn into the right direction. Okay, so this is just a quick video to let you know that if you guys are looking at ET Prime, uh, look up the Street Fighter mod. Uh, he's the one who came up with the idea of which uh, car to use, and everybody used that idea to save the screen so they could use it to mod it and my my opinion is people ask well can you mod this because this is a totally different joystick it doesn't have a joystick you have a, a spinning and the other one have a trackball so what I did is I I bought I went to RK, rk1up.com and I ordered the the controller the asteroid 12 in 1 where it will have the spinner and the trackball in the middle. 
because I like I like the fact that uh, most of my arcade mini that I that I built doesn't have a spinner or a, a trackball, so it's nice to have an arcade that have those built in. And plus, if you buy that particular model, you will get an extra four more game because this four plus four is only eight game, and that one is twelve. So what I did is I bought the PC PCB board which is the brain of the, the game and it have the 12 game inside. So I'm gonna take this controller on Scudos, take it out and buy the one is 12 in one, put it on and then plug all the, cab all the cable. Now I'm not sure if the cable come with it. If it doesn't, they, they did, I did gotta confirm that all the button, the trackball, everything come with it. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna take whatever is here and whatever is there, you know, the string and everything and plug it in. So I'm like, Physically combining two of them into one cabinet and then taking that uh, uh, Taking one of them and make it into uh, a Raspberry Pi so which this one will become a Raspberry Pi and That one will, will become 12 in one because I like the artwork centipede so uh, Hopefully that will work because I know 12 in one use this kind of screen sideways Okay, it doesn't use uh, vertical screen so I'm gonna to try to see if I could plug it in and, and see if a screen will still be okay. If it, if it does, that'll be cool. If it doesn't, then I have to make that one to a Raspberry Pi. And then, or maybe what I'll do is I'll take this monitor because I like this artwork. I'll take the monitor and put it over here and make this one uh, a Raspberry Pi and move this screen over there. Because the 12 in one use this kind of screen vertically. It doesn't use horizontal, okay? So if I plug it into horizontal and work, the 12 in one, then I'll leave it like that. If it doesn't, I'm gonna take this screen, put it over here, take this screen, move it over there, okay? Now, maybe in the near future, I could uh, get somebody to cut a glass in the right side, and I'll draw the hole, and then I'll I will measure the artwork and design it, okay? And have somebody print the artwork for me because uh, because I only have a regular printer 8x11, so it's not gonna work. And what I did is, instead of go buy wood and, and cut the hole myself, I went and bought the Street Fighter uh, Champion Edition that come with a joystick, six button already in there. So I only have to do is draw a select and start, select and start. Now, those of you will say, well, what happens if you have the over layer cover, the clear cover to protect the artwork? If you draw the hole here, you won't be able to put the, the plastic on it. Well, what I'm going to do is, when I draw the hole, this thing is going to be, I'm going to put the plastic on it, and I'm going to flip it and draw the hole on the plastic, and I'm going to draw the same way I draw the wood, okay? Uh, I might use a blow dryer to heat it up, make it a little bit softer in that area of plastic, and then drill it. You definitely don't want to draw it too close. It will crack the, the plastic. So you want to heat it up, heat up that area you're going to drill with the blow dryer for a while. And then uh, drill a little small hole first on the plastic and then drill all the way through. I mean, draw a, plas draw a hole first so you can aim that, that bit into that middle hole and then you put it on top. And then once you start spinning, it will cut the, the wider hole. So... Uh, I will show you how I do that once I get my plastic in. So that's what I'm planning to do. So my Street Fighter artwork will, will go right on top and that'll be pretty cool. So only button I need to drill will be the two hole here and the two hole here. And then I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to make this a, a reset button. So it's turn off, turn on, on the Raspberry Pi, safety shutdown. So I'll make this a safety shutdown. This one, I'm still trying to figure it out is there a way that I could uh, make this? Uh... See, one thing I don't like this is this, this one is not really a value control. Is you might, I might have to create like a button pushing instead of just pushing the dial like this, three dial. I might have to uh, Make somehow make something where it's a push button where you turn the sound value up and then another one turn the value down. 
So I have to see that controller that I'm getting, the amplifier. See, I got the amplifier, I didn't get an amplifier car. I got an amplifier box. The one that uh, the ET Prime suggested. So, but I, I, I do, I do want it to have a two speaker. So I might go ahead because this is just a regular hole drill. It's not a fancy uh, drill, just a, a whole bunch of hole. So what I'll do is I'll drill a whole bunch of hole here too as well. And then with the plastic as well. So I probably, once I put the plastic on, I will drill directly through the plastic, through the wood, through the plastic, through the wood. So the hole will be matching. And so I have the same kind of feature with this one as well as this one. Or maybe I'll flip the plastic over so I could use the plastic as a guideline to draw my hole. That would be better because it's the same exact size. Just flip the plastic over, take the, all the button out so I could flip it over and then draw the hole for the, on, on the Street Fighter. Not this one, Street Fighter, okay? So this one, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to take it out, put it on the side, use the wire that come with it and make that one to a 12 in one or vice versa whatever whatever one that work on the 12 by one and uh, i do know it come with all the button and everything because i confirmed that with the cell person but i forgot to ask them does it come with the speaker or the wire so don't hold that against me because um once i order it i will be able to confirm that with you does it come with a speaker does it come with a pre-wire already in there so only thing you have to do is put the pc car in there plug it in and make it work or do is there something more to it so that i will let you know once i receive it and that should be sometime in june 6th so i will do a, a video about changing one of this cabinet into 12 in one and once that's done then i'll do the raspberry update okay so this video is just give you a quick uh information so you won't run into the same problem I have, which I purchased the wrong car. Now I have to go back and uh, uh, purchase it. So what I did is, let me show you what I did. Uh, okay, I go to Amazon. And what you want to do is you want to do a search. Okay, you want to search for that particular model, the monitor right there. That's the one you need. Okay. So you're going to search for that model and it's going to give you three options. It's going to, this one is the 1.1. This is also 1.1. Now this one's a little bit cheaper, but doesn't come with any cable. So I have to go back to ET Prime, look at the video again. Do I need those extra, extra cable? Now I, I know I don't need that car up, up there on the top. Let me go in there. Because he didn't use it because the monitor came, the monitor had this built in. So you just take the cable and plug it in here. So I don't think I need this cable. And I need this cable that come with it because it's gonna control the, the, the monitor screen, color and brightness. And then this one also come with the, the 17 inch screen. So that plug in here and that plug in from the TV. And then you have to have, there's an extra cable you have to screw the, make the uh, ground cable in here and make it ground. But, uh, so you have to, uh, so right there, there's a hole. You're gonna put the screw in here and ground that right there. But this is the right, this is the correct one uh, for the model that I'm purchasing. Uh, even though the screen, the model, you have to go by the information that's come from the, because if you look through here, you cannot see, you cannot find the model. But if you go in a description, you could. So I don't think it's, it's showing a back view, let me see. Yeah, and we don't use this cable. We do what this cable is for the control, and this cable is to the TV, TV, to the monitor, and then your speaker will be coming through here. So this is the correct car uh, for the the one I need to go ahead and purchase. That this is the correct correct model, the 1.1 ETN01.1. The one that I order, I order incorrectly, so I'm doing a re uh, return right now. And I, I'm waiting for this one to come in June 3rd. This is the one that uh, uh, ET Prime suggested. And then 
this is the incorrect one which I'm doing a return right now and this is the joystick I purchased they all light up LED with a two USB controller. I like this particular model, so I'm getting that one. Um, this is the one that I got incorrectly because it's a direct link and I didn't know what's the difference. And I just click on it. So if you was to uh, view, view the order detail, this particular model that I got, Right here. This is the one I, 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 I purchased, okay? But the one I got was not correct was I thought I plug it in, now it's showing me something else. Let me go back to it. Okay, this is the one that was incorrect. See, this is the model is called the MEN4 and NE06. So this is not the correct model. EN06 is not. I have the ET something. So this is not the correct one that I ordered, even though they look identical the same, but it's not the correct one. So I have to return this one. Okay, so just a head up, if those of you who, like me, went and purchased it, uh, I didn't know till this couple of days of looking at other people's video. Uh, somebody say, hey, uh, ET Prime suggests the video card, it does not work because you have to make sure it match the monitor, which I show you in the beginning of the video. So make sure you get the white model that is in behind your RK1 up. So there's two different monitors out there, okay? So if you're going to mod your system, make sure you check the back of your monitor and make sure you get the white right one, okay? All right, hopefully this helped. I'll talk to you later. Once I get everything in, I'll put them together. Uh, one, of, one of the viewers say that this system does not work. It work pretty like crap. Why you even bother to put 12 in one? The only reason I, I want to do 12 in one because I, I enjoy playing this using the spinner and the trackball. I know it's not the best, but I know how to go ahead and fix this. Uh, if they're not gonna give me a replacement, I'm going to uh, use the duct tape and the, the, the 40 um, penny to put in here, make it heavier and put a duct tape so that when it spins, it will spin smoother instead of getting stuck. When, it, when you use one finger, it gets stuck and can't push no more. So yeah, see now it's stuck. And now it's definitely stuck, see that? It's not moving at all because use one finger to push it now. See, I'm gonna zoom in. It's not moving at all. So you have to do this again. Then it will start moving again. So this thing gets stuck. So I told them that they just say, oh, just open it up and then we tie it up and you should fix it. Really? That's how RK one up. They don't want to. They don't want to fix it. This is what they tell you. Okay. All right. Hopefully this helped. Talk to you later. Bye bye.